Hello, and thank you so much for coming to my channel. My name is Jill, thank you for being here. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say, please subscribe, comment down below, like this video, you know the drill, just press all the happy buttons on the page, and let's get into it. So today, I'm gonna go through a little bit of an Ulta lip liner haul, all from LA Girl. So LA Girl has some of the most affordable, yet creamy and long-lasting lip liners around. I love them. I have this shade right here that I've been using for a while. This is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in blushing, and I really like it. So I decided to pick up more. So I got three new colors, and these ones are a little bit different because instead of having to sharpen them, you can actually just twist it, and that's how you get more product. So I was like, I'd rather do that than sharpen a pencil. I just think when you end up sharpening pencils, you lose a lot of the product and you don't get the full value of it because when you sharpen it, inevitably some of the lip liner is gonna come off while sharpening. So we're gonna try out these three new shades I got. Let's see how long it takes me to get the packaging open. But I got the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. Hopefully it's good as the Perfect Precision one. So let's open these up. The first one I got was a little bit of a nude color. Just any type of pencil, whether it's eyeliner, lip pencil, doesn't matter, I hate when they're covered in plastic just because it's so hard to get it off. Of course, come off in little tiny bits. I'll see you in 10 minutes. <laughs> Oof, there we go. So here's the first color, and this is a nude, as I was saying, and this is the color Nonstop Nude. Okay, so yeah, it's a nude. <laughs> it's literally called Nonstop Nude. So this is the first one, and this packaging is plastic. The original ones, or the ones that you need to sharpen, are wood. Obviously, it's a wooden pencil. So that's the first difference I am noting. These also have a slanted top, whereas this one has a flat top. So let's open this up. Okay, it looks nice. You don't need to twist it up or anything. It's already up there for you. So let me open all the other ones, and then I'll swatch all of them and compare to the original. This one is just a darker nude and it's the shade Keep It Spicy. And I do wanna note, so what's interesting about these is they have a sort of like pencil grip right here almost. So this is all plastic and then right here it's like a rubber coating. Maybe that's to grip better, I'm not really sure because I don't, I don't think I actually hold my lip liner this far down, but we'll see. Let me just take off the lip I'm currently wearing so we can start our swatcheroos. And I'm gonna go lightest to darkest. So first we're gonna do the nude one, which is nonstop nude. As I said, when you open it up, it's already pushed up for you. You don't need to twist it up. I have my mirror right here. Let me just start lining my lips and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, my lips are lined. It's super creamy, just as creamy, if not more creamy than the original one that I have. That's the pencil sharpened one. So I'm gonna actually fill in my lips so you can really see the color better. And I would say this one is an orangey type nude, a very, very light nude, but with a more orange undertone. I actually really like it. It's like a peachy, orangey undertone. I'm actually gonna stop talking now because I'm messing up my lip liner because I'm talking. It feels pretty comfortable. It's a little bit sticky, and if you try to go over where you already put the lip liner a second time, it does kind of stick and it doesn't really glide. So that is something to note, but I guess it keeps you from wasting product and going over it twice because you don't really need to go over anything twice. Like I'm trying to drag it over here just to create a sharper line and it's kind of sticking and it's not gliding. So that is an interesting note. I do think that this is very pretty though. I do really like the tone and the color. It has a slight peach undertone, even though it's a nude. So it's like nude with a little bit of peachy orangey underneath. And I really like it. I think it's very pretty. And I actually like it more on camera than I do in person. Not that I don't like it in person. It's just more of a true nude on camera. So I think it looks really nice. Again, just ever so slightly sticky but I would go over this with a gloss anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. And especially for the price, I mean, I think I got it for like $2, maybe a little bit more than $2, so I really can't complain, and I think that this looks really nice, and I do really like that. So let me wipe off nonstop nude, and we're gonna go into Keep It Spicy next. It's not hard to get off per se, 
but it's not going without a fight. I think longevity wise, that is a good sign because I'm having to go over this multiple times with my makeup wipe to actually get it off. Okay, let's go into Keeping It Spicy, which is more of a red undertone, darker nude. So this one again comes pre sharpened, already twisted up, so you don't need to do anything once you open it for the first time. And as I was saying, I don't grip my lip liner like this, where this rubber thing is. I really grip it back here. I don't dislike this, like it doesn't bother me. It's just interesting, because I feel like if they actually asked anyone where they should put the grip, it wouldn't be at the bottom of the pencil, even though that is like if you're writing, typically where you would put a grip, but it just doesn't actually do anything for helping you put on your lip liner. Maybe it's not a grip, maybe it's something else, I don't know. All right, keeping it spicy is really nice. This is very much reminding me of like a 90s lip liner, so it's a nude, but a darker, more red plummy nude, and I like it a lot. I think it's very pretty. It is the same exact formula though as the other nude I was just showing you, so when you go like this, and if you wanna put on more, it does definitely cling and it doesn't glide over what you already put on. It's actually a little odd that it does that. But yeah, if you already have the color down, it won't let you swipe more on top. It's not really a big deal to me though because they are opaque. It's not like I need to go over it. I'm really just trying to create a sharper line, but just something to note. First application glides on really easily. Second, third, if you're trying to go over it more, it will stick and not really let you glide across the lip. See, it just, it, it just sticks. But I do really like this color. It's a little vampy. It reminds me of fall. I do like it. And that's the thing I love about these lip liners too, is they're good. They're definitely very good lip liners. They stay in place and they're so affordable that you can get six of them for the price of one from Sephora. And then you have so many more options to choose from as far as lips. And to me, it's hard to get the perfect lip. Sometimes I need to mix a lot of different colors to get that perfect color I'm looking for. So I do appreciate having a lot of different options to choose from. Lip liner is one of those products that you don't think you need, but you really do. My lipstick always bleeds horribly, so I always need a lip liner. And my favorite thing to do actually is just put on a lip liner like I did and fill in my lips and then put on a gloss on top. And that way you don't need a lipstick also. You can just go in with a lip liner. They're usually nice and long lasting and creamy anyways. And then you don't have to buy another product and a gloss. A lot of the time it depends on what gloss, but the glosses that I like to use really just give a light flush of color or they're clear. They're not gonna give a super opaque color. So it doesn't really matter what you go on top of it with because the gloss is just gonna kind of melt everything together, but still have that original color of the lip liner showing through. In any case, let me wipe this off. And I'll go into the next one. Very pretty, I do really like that. I feel like I need a choker, my Game Boy, and then I'll be ready for the 90s again. What else did I have? I'm a 90s baby, so what else did I have in the 90s? I had a Furby. Those things are scary. Um, what else did I have? In, I don't know, a, a Tamagotchi, which I never figured out how to use. All right, last shade. Let's go into Unlimited Wine, and this is like a deeper red. And same thing, comes pre-sharpened for you already, and I'm just gonna go in. Oh yeah, that's pigmented. You can already see right off the bat, that's pigmentation. All right, I didn't do the best application because I kind of just did a quick swatch, but I just want to show you guys. So this is the only one that I'm running into a little bit of an issue with so far because it is a darker color. So I do need to go over a second coat and it's just not letting me do that because it's sticking to the first coat. So I'll put on the first coat, try to go on with the second, and it just sticks in place and it doesn't glide over. You twist it from here, not from the bottom. So this is a second coat. It's now more opaque. I don't think I need any more, but it is lighter in some places than others. And this is definitely not my favorite. I feel like you could make this one work, 
but I just don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to. Like, I don't want to have to make it work. I just want it to work. It's still pretty creamy when you first glide it across. It's just on that second application, which is so strange. That's never happened to me with any lip liner, honestly, where it sticks to that product that you put down originally. It is a gorgeous color, though. Like, this is so pretty, especially for the winter. A little bit vampy, but still red and pinkish. So I, I do really like this color. I would just definitely have to put something on top of it. And I'm gonna wipe this off because first off I want to put on one of the nudes for the rest of the video But I also want to go in to the original lip liner that I had the one that you have to sharpen and show you guys how that one works and see if it does that weird grabby on the second pass thing because I don't remember it doing that and if I did I don't think I would have bought more again. They're kind of sticky and hard to get off which is fantastic actually because that means it'll last longer maybe these ones because they are so oh i just got it all over my face the formula is a little bit different because it's meant to stay on and be very long lasting but let me fix this so i don't look as crazy as i currently do that's why i did the darker one last just because inevitably the darker ones are going to be harder to get off let me go in with the original one yeah, so this one is not as creamy. So that's definitely a point in the favor of the newer one. It does work really well though, and it's super beginner friendly because if you just lightly graze it across your lips, if you don't press down hard, just lightly graze it. It gives you a little bit of an outline, but nothing crazy, and you can really build it up, which I actually like because then you can really control how opaque and how intense you want the color to be. This is blushing and the original lip liner that first made me like the LA Girl lip liners. I actually, it's, it's crazy because I remember thinking that this was the creamiest, most wonderful lip liner I'd ever tried at the drugstore. However, these ones are definitely creamier, the new ones. Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liners are definitely more creamy. So I think that's really interesting. I do think though, if you're a beginner, I would still recommend the pencil one just because, I mean, they're both pencils, but the one that you actually have to sharpen that's made out of wood, just because it gives you a much lighter application and you have to build it up more, which I think if you're a beginner is good because if you go out of the lines or whatever, it's not as big of a deal and you can just wipe it away. These one swipe and it's super pigmented so you might have a little bit more trouble if you have problems putting on lip liner and i can tell you now it's going to be easier to get it off because i can go like this as many times as i want and it's not grabbing it's not sticky whatsoever i go like this not sticky so when i did that with the other ones they would stick together a little bit and i think that the formula is probably just different because the one that twists up is supposed to be longer lasting and this one isn't. I'll have to do a wear test to see how long the new ones actually last. But let me take these off for the last time and I'm gonna put on one of the nude ones and then go in with a gloss and we'll do some close-ups and I'll give you my final thoughts. My hand's all slippery from the makeup wipe, so I can't get it open. Um, but yeah, this one is nonstop nude, and I'm just gonna line my lips like I did before. There are my lips lined. Let me get a gloss, cause my lips are dry and they definitely need it. I'm gonna go in with a Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Silk. Okay, so I'll do some close-ups and show you the lips after I use that nude lip liner and then a gloss on top, but I want to give you some of my opinions as well. The formula on the wooden lip liners are definitely different than the twist-up plastic lip liners. I don't know why I was expecting it to be the same formula, but it's definitely not. So the precision pencil doesn't say anything about it being long-lasting or anything. I personally don't have a problem with the longevity of it. I think it lasts just fine. But these ones, I guess, are supposed to last longer, so that's something to keep in mind. They do feel much stickier too. So this one, you can go like that, move your lips all around, and they won't stick together. With these, the ones that you twist up, they will stick together, and it is a little bit more difficult to get on a second coat. I can't say that I totally mind it. It is a little bit uncomfortable, but once you put on a gloss, it doesn't really matter. So if anything, it's just gonna be sticky for like three minutes until you put your lip gloss on. So 
unless you want to be completely matte, then I would say don't use these. But if you're going to go on with a gloss or a lip liner on top anyways, it doesn't really matter what the consistency is. That is it for me today, guys, though. Thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel. Please subscribe. Please comment. Please like this video. You know the drill. Just press all of the happy buttons on the page, and I will see you in my next video.